Hi, Ms. Santine here, and I am going over Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 3. Today's goal is for you to apply concepts to create a unit ruler and measure lengths using your own unit ruler. In our last lesson, we used one centimeter cube to measure the length of different objects. Today, we're going to create a tool that will help us measure centimeters in a more efficient way. That's right, we're going to make a centimeter ruler. Watch how I use my centimeter cube to measure and mark centimeters onto the tag board. So this here is my tag board. You can use a piece of paper. You'll also need a centimeter cube and a pencil. So any piece of paper can help. One, then move the cube over and mark the next end point, which is this here. Two, move the cube over again then mark the next endpoint, three, and now four. So, so far I've added four hash marks onto my tag board. What did you notice about how I'm, I marked my tag board? Right, I did what we did yesterday. We didn't leave any space between the cubes and the pencil mark. Also, we made sure that all the spaces are the same size. That's very important, the same size, which is the size of the centimeter cube. And last, we use what we call the mark and move forward strategy. That means that we marked and then we move the cube forward. Now, you are going to try it. Take out your tag board or a piece of paper, a centimeter cube and a pencil. And let's do a few centimeters together. One, two, three. Go ahead and complete your ruler. As you finish, explore measuring items around the room. So what I want you to do is try your best to use the entire piece of paper or the entire tag board. Try your best to have 30 hash marks in there. So your tag board or ruler should look like this. Let's explore how we can use this tool. We call the marks on the ruler hash marks. Who would like to share an item they measured? Great, write it in the comments below or share with your teacher. What were some things to keep in mind when measuring? Right, one thing to keep in mind is to always start at the very end point. This is an end point and this is also an end point. The next to keep in mind is to count all the hash marks and that this hash mark here starts with one. Count the hash marks with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, this endpoint right here definitely counts. Yes, so the goal is for you to add 30 hash marks. Why? Because there are 30 centimeter hash marks in a ruler. So now let's label the hash marks. That way it will be a lot easier when we are measuring items. Now, before I continue, I do want to make something very clear. A common mistake that I see is that some students will start measuring with this number one, and I understand why you might think that's accurate, but when we measure, we want to start at the very beginning, at this first endpoint. So even though this is the very end of our paper or tag board, it still counts as a hash mark. And this could be zero if you wanted to label it, but you don't have to. We do not start on one, we start at the very beginning, that very first endpoint. Great job. So here we can see that we made a ruler that is 30 centimeters long. Who can tell me what unit did we use to create our rulers? That's right, we use centimeter cube. Keyword centimeter. How many centimeters are on your ruler? Right. 30 centimeters or 30 cm for short. 
Let's practice using our rulers to measure the index cards and a couple other objects around you. Write in the comments below how long is your index card or any object that you have around you. Let's debrief. I really want you to explain to me how you made your ruler. What steps did you take to make it an accurate tool for measurement? What was different about using the mark and move forward from using the ruler? Why is using the ruler more efficient than counting hash marks? What are some objects that are longer than our centimeter ruler? How can we measure objects that are longer than our rulers? That's a question for our next lesson. See you soon. Bye.